Now we're going to talk about the sun's photosphere. The photosphere is the visible layer of the sun. When you're looking at the sun, and again, I don't recommend you look at the sun with the naked eye without any protection. You want to have special filters when you look at the sun. But when we take pictures of the sun, or we're able to look at the sun through special filters, we see the surface of the sun, and the surface of the sun is called the photosphere. It's a very, very thin layer, about 100 to 400 kilometers thick, that is really the physical boundary of the sun. Beyond the photosphere, we actually can talk about being in the atmosphere of the sun, which is called the chromosphere, and we'll, we'll talk about the chromosphere later. Now, the photosphere, even though it's still the physical limit of the sun, the physical surface of the sun, the density of the, of the photosphere is much less dense than Earth's atmosphere. And Roughly. so the density of the photosphere is very, uh, very tenuous. Compared to the Earth's atmosphere, it's about 0.01% the density of the Earth's atmosphere. So you can imagine it's not very dense. So it's hard to imagine of the photosphere as being the surface of the sun. But you have to remember that by the time you reach the outer layers of the sun, the sun is not very dense. The sun is a massive object with an enormous amount of hydrogen and helium and other elements in it, but most of that mass is towards the center of the sun at the core in the radiation zone. As you go further up into the uh, convection zone, and especially when you reach the photosphere, the sun is very, very rarefied. Imagine the density is 110,000 the density of the Earth's atmosphere or the air that we breathe. Nevertheless, it is kind of a physical surface because the photosphere is very opaque. Well, my pen is starting to give out on me, opaque. So what does opaque mean? Opaque means that it's not uh, penetrable by visible light. So any light coming from the interior of the sun that tries to make it out of the sun kind of gets blocked by the photosphere. So what happens there is that the photosphere is at a temperature of roughly 5,800 Kelvin, which causes the the hydrogen in the photosphere to sometimes acquire an additional electron. Sometimes it gets stripped of its electron, sometimes it acquires an additional electron. And so when hydrogen uh, ends up with an additional electron, it is now negatively charged. So it now has two electrons, and those two electrons play havoc with the photons trying to make it through the photosphere. It tends to absorb, so these hydrogens tend to absorb the radiation coming from inside the, the sun to strip that extra electron away from the hydrogen, causes the electron, uh, the photon to be scattered out, and then the, then the, um, the uh, electron will then reunite with the hydrogen, making it negative again, and that will then release a, a photon, but again, that photon will then be released in a random direction. So the radiation that came from inside the sun will get scattered and bounced around inside the photosphere before it leaves, which makes the photosphere very opaque. If it wasn't for the fact that the photosphere does that, we could actually look deep into the interior of the sun because the convection zone is not opaque, and so we would be able to look right into the sun. So the photosphere, because of its nature, causes that physical visual boundary of the sun that we cannot look beyond. We cannot physically see any light beyond the photosphere. So we're limited in our ability to look into the sun because of that. And that's what gives the sun its very sharp edge, at least from a visual perspective. Right? And that is the photosphere.